Foundation doing another draft video. Today is my uh, my final case for uh, the pick at 28. I will be doing a prediction video of the seven picks that we do have, the seven round of the seven rounds. Um, we don't have a fifth round pick, but we do have two uh, seventh round picks and all that. I still kind of narrowing them down and stuff like that. And I kind of been playing around like, is there gonna be a trade and uh, you know will there be trades and stuff like that you know with the quarterbacks all of a sudden like you know the the pressure kicks in like oh we need a quarterback you know and then another team might jump in and stuff like that you know so so you know with more picks more better you know um but yeah but yeah but anyway yeah, i just wanted to kind of go over that one last time and then i'll come up with that video of the the seven picks that we do have but if we if everything stays the same, nothing gets moved around. My final case for that pick twenty eight. Now, in my last video, I did say that King and Harris is the two top guys for me, as far as like in that in that um in that range. Um, I started to think that you know with in the last few weeks, originally I had him in the second round and maybe he kind of fall maybe he would fall to us. In, at pick 60 I mean that was kind of fantasy but you never know because <laughs> when Moreau got hurt and McLean we also also getting hurt and then then especially Sidney Jones you know that really threw a threw a monkey wrench into a lot of a lot of stuff um, but anyway <clears throat> but anyway with the with the with with Kim all of a sudden he his his uh, draft stock this started I mean skyrocketing like crazy so now I'm starting to think that he might be even drafted even higher and all that so so my fine but if he does stay where he is and he does get at pick 28 and we have him or Harris then whoever we take it I'm gonna be happy <laughs> but with that being said I'm, I'm gonna make a final case for for Charles Harris, um, defensive end out of Missouri. Again, uh, you know, a Marinelli, prototypical Marinelli type of player. Huge motor, does not give up on the play, relentless, and all that gets up the field. And then his special talent is that he he has a great first step and everything. So and then he does a thing, you know, like um, watching the highlights. And then if you watch Game Changers, you know, he does have that. That, that thing that Mark, the Marcus Ware used to do, that, that lean, that, that shoulder lean and all that, you know, but um, I really like, I, 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 that's one thing that catches my eye, is like, when you see him do that, and it's like, ooh, <laughs> and, you know, and that's the thing too, I mean, you know, you really want a guy that's going to disrupt the pocket and all that, you know, give, a, give our secondary chances to make plays on the ball and, and everything. And... With that being said, you know that's why I like I like him a lot. Again, he is not gonna give up on the play. He's gonna, he, you know, he, you know, if the if our cover shows up like how we did last year, it gives you know gives us time. He's gonna he's gonna get to the quarterback eventually. And the other good thing about him is that when he does get the level of the quarterback, he, you know, unless he doesn't, you know, unless he doesn't get past the player, he knows how to level himself off with the quarterback as far as the pocket goes. And make a move back to the inside to get the quarterback, and, and you know, and that. So, but like I said, if Sidney Jones, I mean Sidney, not Kevin King and him are still there, I'll be all good, you know. But I think that right now the way things are getting set up, I think that Charles Harris is the best, the best guy for us at pick twenty eight. So, all right, that's my video. Case adjourned. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, mahalo for watching. Paniolo boys and go Cowboys.